so we're on our next lesson, 9-10, subtracting mixed numbers. So remember, a mixed number is anything that has a whole number and a fraction. So we already did the first parts in class, so here is number 9. So I need to do my fractions first. Remember, I always do my smallest place value. So I'm going to subtract the fractions first. So I have 7 minus 4 is 3. Denominator stays the same, so that's 8. Then 8 minus 2 is 6. Number 10, we have this issue, 5 minus 9. Well, if I have 5 dots, I cannot take away 9. I can only take away 5. So what I have to do is I have to regroup. So remember, I'm going to take a whole from this 4. That becomes a 3. And I'm trading that whole for 10 tenths. I know it's tenths because my denominator is 10. So I'm trading 10 tenths. I already have 5 tenths. So that's 5 plus 10 is 15. So this now becomes a 15. 15 minus 9 is 6. Denominator stays the same. 3 minus 1 is 2. I know I can simplify it by dividing by 2. So I divide my numerator and denominator by 2. So that is 2 and 3 fifths. For number 11, I have the same problem. I have one dot, but I have to take away 4. So I have to regroup. So this 4 becomes a 3. I'm taking that one whole, and I'm adding it to 1 eighth. So that one whole is broken into eighths. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm now adding it to that 1 eighth I already have. So I will have 3 and 9 eighths. 1 eighth that I already had plus my new 8 eighths. And then I'm subtracting that 4 eighths. 9 minus 4 is 5. My 8 stay the same. 3 minus 1 is 2. So my answer is 2 and 5 eighths. For number 6, even though there's no fraction here, I still have to subtract fractions first because I can't do 0 minus 4. So what I have to do is I have to borrow or regroup. So that 6 becomes a 5, and my whole becomes 5 fifths. Remember, 5 fifths is the same as one whole. So now I have 5 minus 4 is 1. 5 minus 2 is 3. My answer is 3 and 1 fifth. Heading off to number 13. Here I have 1 third minus 2 thirds. I cannot do 1 minus 2, so this 6 has to be renamed. So I'm taking a whole. And here, I need 3 thirds to make a whole. So I have 1 third plus 3 thirds. So this becomes 4. Now I have 4 minus 2 is 2 thirds. 5 minus 5 is 0. So my answer is just 2 thirds. For number 14, we have 2 fourths minus 3 fourths. Well, I cannot do 2 minus 3. So I have to rename it or regroup. So that 9 becomes an 8. That one whole is 4 fourths. I already have 2 fourths, so that becomes 6 fourths. So now I have 6 minus 3 is 3 fourths. 8 minus 6 is 2, so my answer is 2 and 3 fourths. For number 15, I cannot do 3 minus 5, so I have to rename it. So I have 7 eighths. That one whole is the same as 8 eighths, and I already have 3 eighths. So when I add those two together, I have 11 eighths. So this 3 becomes an 11. You can also notice I'm just adding my numerator and denominator together to get that 11. Notice how that 11 is in the same spot. So now I have 11 minus 5 is 6. Denominator stays the same. 7 minus 3 is 4. I can simplify it by dividing by 2 halves. So now I have 4. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Final answer is 4 and 3 fourths. For number 16, I have this issue again of I don't have fractions. So what I have to do is I have to rename and regroup that 7. So that 6 is trading one whole for two halves. Two halves is the same as one whole. 2 minus 1 is 1. Denominator stay the same. 6 minus 3 wholes is 3. Heading off to number 17 now. I can't do 1 minus 5, so I have to regroup. And rename. Here, I'm going to try my next trick. Remember, all I'm doing is I need six pieces to make a whole. I already have one, so I'm just going to add those together. So that is 14 
and 7 6 minus 4 and 5 6. 7 minus 5 is 2. 14 minus 4 is 10. Now I can divide 2 6 by 2 halves. So my final answer is 10 and 1 third. Number 18. I can't do 1 minus 3, so I need to regroup. So this 13 becomes a 12. And remember, I'm going to now try my shortcut because I've seen this pattern again where I, I add my denominator and my numerator. So that 1 is going to become a 13. 13 minus 3 is 10. Denominator stays the same. 12 minus 8 is 4. So my answer is 4 and 10 twelfths. I notice they're both even, so I can divide my numerator and denominator by 2. So my final answer is 4 and 5, 6. For number 19, we have 2 minus 3, which we can't do, so I regroup. That 6 becomes a 5, and I'm going to add my numerator and denominator together. So I'm getting 5 pieces. I already have 2, so that is a 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. Denominator stays the same. 5 minus 2 is 3, so my answer is 3 and 4 fifths. 21, we have 9 minus 7. This one we can do, so I do not need to rename or regroup. 12 minus 10 is 2, but here I do need to simplify. I can divide my numerator and denominator by 2. So my answer is 2 and 1 sixth. For 22, we have 1 fourth minus, ooh, we don't have anything over here. So that's the same as 0 fourths. Remember, 0 is the same as a fraction with a 0 as a numerator. doesn't matter what the denominator is. It will always be 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1. Denominator stays the same. 25 minus 20 is 5. So my answer is 1 and 1, 5 and 1 fourth. For numbers 23, we have our issue of there's no fraction here. So I have to regroup. This is a 16. And my denominator, so I'm showing, is making groups of 8. So I have 8 eighths. 8 minus 1 is 7. Denominator stay the same. 16 minus 2 is 14. Okay, so that is, oops, I left these two. So number 20, 5 minus 7, we can't do, so I need to rename slash regroup. I'm getting 10 pieces. I already have 5, so I add those together. 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 minus 7 is 8 tenths. 9 minus 4 is 5. I can divide my numerator denominator by 2. So my final answer is 5 and 4 fifths. My last one, 3 minus 4 I can't do, so I'm going to regroup. And here, I need 5 pieces to make a whole. I already have 3, so I can add my numerator and denominator together, which means this is going to become 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Denominator stays the same. 25 minus 13 is 12. So my answer is 12 and 4 fifths. All right, you guys have done an excellent job. Remember, for my class, I said we did not have to do the back page because there's so many practice problems on this front page.